Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I appreciate you taking the time to stop in for what is going to be episode 16 now of this playthrough series. Like I said in the last episode, we are going to return back now to the main story. So that means we're going to go meet up with Yuna here, start the Eternal Blue Sky, and wrap up the last kind of mission here for Thank Act so 3. You had us worried. I thought you'd been caught. Delivering my message wasn't easy. Did your uncle read it? Will he help us defeat the Khan? I hope so. But we can't wait to find out. Wind's getting stronger. The storm will be here by morning. Did you secure the siege weapons? Enough to cause plenty of damage. Also found some deserters from your uncle's army who want to follow the ghost. We're ready. Tell the others we attack at dawn. I'll spread the word, but you should check on them. They want to hear from their leader. You guys like the ring of that? Their leader? I mean, if we're not going to have honor, at least we got to have a nice, you know band of uh degenerates behind her back definitely gonna go see hi to the homies i have to imagine this has got to be norio here what hope is there if the chief hey. and his nephew are at each other's throats you're exaggerating lord sakai norio i knew you would be here for all the times we fought together i wouldn't miss it tomorrow we avenge your brother and the warrior monks of your temple I just want our home back. So, if you were listening to that, like you noticed, uh, I'm imagining all the allies that we're going to go talk to, they're going to be uh, the same allies that we have tales to work on. So the one with uh, the people who pretty much slaughtered Lady Adachi's whole family, Tom away for Cynthia Shikawa, people who took out and were responsible for the death of okay. Norio's brother, Kenji. I'm not entirely okay. sure, but I'm sure so we're gonna see him as well. Any word of Tomoe? Well, we are here. Tomoe's archers run wild across the whole island. We're going to end that, Sensei. I promise you. There's also gonna be Yuna, uh, and then there's also gonna be Mythic Tales. Moments away from we should make our own poison just to be safe. I hear you, Jin. I know we haven't found your family's killers, but we must move against the Khan. He murdered my husband, hanged my sons. I want him dead, too. We will bring him to justice. Afterward, I'll resume my hunt, and I will ride with you. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a long day. Or a very short one. Well, Adachi's at least, you know, supportive. Sensei here wasn't. He made sure to rub it in last time, but we'll we'll Sakai. see what he says this time. It's good to have your bow with us, Sensei. I have not forgotten about Tomoe. We will defeat the Khan. Her support will crumble like dry tea leaves. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Don't get sentimental, Sakai. <laughs> As you like, Sensei. I'll let you prepare for tomorrow. I prepared my whole life. <laughs> One more day makes no difference. Hey, I know you just told me, but I just want you to know I haven't forgotten about Tom. Tomoe. Just just make sure we're clear, you know. <sighs> hey, Kenji. Here we are, my lord. Huh. You're in good spirits? Of course. I've been sipping good spirits all day. Don't sip too much. You don't want to sleep through tomorrow. Joking aside, there's no way I would miss tomorrow. I'm here for Taka. Thank you, Kenji. You gotta appreciate that Jin gives respect to everybody and gets down on their level, talks to them like a compassionate human being. What's not to like about him? Other than the poison. I mean, that's that's the big no-no there. 
You've come a long way since you pulled me off Komodo Beach. You were so heavy I could barely drag you. Had to strip you half naked just to reach town. <laughs> I wouldn't be here without you, you know. I can't lose you, Jin. After everything we've been through, everyone we've lost, I can't. I have to stop the con. No, you don't. We could find a boat, sail somewhere quiet. While your uncle fights his samurai war. Do you really want that? No. If I fall, promise me you'll keep fighting. You're a real bastard, Jin Sakai. You should get some rest. Not yet. Let's sit. Just a little longer. This is it. We have one chance to take down the Khan before he attacks our mainland. Kenji, what's the status of our siege weapons? Ready to rain fire on the Mongol fleet. Good. Yuna will signal your attack. Once the volley begins, the Mongols will charge your position and run right into our ambush. The explosives are set up. Archers on the rooftops. We're with you, Sakai. Thank you. All of you. Go. Jin, there's no sign of your uncle. That storm's not waiting. And neither are we. Get ready to fire the signal arrow. Now! Alright, the moment we've all been waiting for since episode one. The Mongols are coming. We'll cut down anyone who gets through. It's time to now lay the siege on the Mongols. Speaking of first episode, this big ass thought. explosion. Watch your back, Masako! Don't let them get behind us! Take the fight to them! Forward! Yeah, you completely whiffed on the last one there, didn't you, bud? be so embarrassing to go down like that. Just yeet it into the air and then Oh! Oh! Bastard! Three cheap shots on me. Up for that whiff there. Push them back. Kill them all. Oh, okay. That was smooth. Good on you, man. I'll try to contain my laughs, but every time I see that happen, I just can't help myself.
Yeah, I have no idea why those bandits are even trying to fight alongside these guys. No armor. Like wooden weapons. Come on. Oh, I missed a good opportunity. I don't know, just to pull it off. Oh! That was nice. For God, she doesn't need any help. That woman's crazy. Oh, I got lucky there. And I keep whiffing. Oh, I have no oh, no, I hit him in the back. No. No, no. Plan worked. The Mongols are regrouping. We won't give them a chance. Norio is leading the rest of our forces up the hill. Then we'll join him and press the attack. Oh, you're all safe. Okay, Norio. This is where it ends. Today, the Khan dies. Lord Shimura isn't here. We fight alone. We'll lead an attack on the main gate. Distract the Mongols while you find a way inside. You'll be overwhelmed. We came this far. We're not turning back now. You are all the bravest warriors I've ever known. I hope to see you again. Leave the battle to us. What are we waiting for? No mercy for the Mongols! Fight! Fight for Lord Sakai! Oh, shit. That was not what we were supposed to do. Alright, well, I apologize there, guys. Uh, my mistakes kind of put me in a good situation here, I guess. I don't know. Or it's just where I was supposed to go in the first place. That's going to go undecided for now. What we do know is we're going to try and sneak into Porazuma here. Look over the camp. Figure out how to find the Khan. Hey, go, go away. The temptation I had to fight there to not shoot an arrow. I mean, do we just fight them all right now? Just a big fuck it. Nah. I don't think that's... Oh, no. Yeah, maybe not. It says, find a vantage point to locate the con. It might hurt, help if I actually read what I'm supposed to do. Uh, We'll stay stealthy here, but it's not going to be my intention. If we got to fight and go loud, we will fight and go loud. And right on cue. Oh, shit. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just, uh, trying to find your boss. I need to speak to your manager. Oh, <laughs> 
All right, I apologize. This took way too long, but. Double big boot. All right, let's find out where our good, good old buddy Khan is here. I mean, <laughs> y'all big chillin' too? I'm big chillin'. I mean, I don't want to ruin the party here, but... What is this awareness? What is this? I can't imagine there's anything to loot in these. They probably want you to, like, speed run through here to the con. Yeah, I can barely see shit in here. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Alright. What's poppin', guys? We're just gonna keep rolling through. Alright, guess we're throwing hands. Hey, yo, what's poppin'? No. Back up. Right, I need to be strong. I can't laugh at that kick. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna come get you, boy. That can't feel good when you're going for a big old step like that and you don't know where I am, bud. Ooh. Got too much power. Must be like Wata. Come on. Alright, I think we're about to take on the con. Hope you guys are ready. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. All this death. 
because you and your uncle would not surrender. I offered you peace, and you chose war. Now, the people of your mainland will suffer. You will never leave this island. the stare down of death taking place i hope you guys are ready this has been a long time coming the people of like always the goal the is to try to ooh, try to narrate wow i can't even talk try to narrate what's going on kind of talk about his moveset what to look out for try to make this fight a little bit easier for you guys assuming i don't mess it up in the process it looks like he's got three unblockables uh, in a kind of swinging manner. He's got a nice little high stabbing motion here. Alright, when he does his little flag twirling move there. Oh, okay. I mean, not, <laughs> that worked out, but uh, yeah, for the most part, I mean, all these. It looks like we can easily. Let me finish that off. Looks like we can easily kind of dodge and roll out left and right on any of those unblockables. And then obviously keep an eye out for the ones that you can parry, because that's going to open us up to uh, better combos. As you can see there, it's going to take a chunk of health and some of his, his guard, I guess you'd call it. The hole there. Focus on them parries, guys. He's hitting us with a lot of variables now. I defeated you before. This All right, I imagine he's gonna do some kind of little acrobatic move here. Maybe not. He's holding that aside. No. Nope. Nope. Yeah, every time you see him holding at the side like that, kind of where he's got in like a thrusting motion. Yeah. He's always gonna be uh, that little stab parry motion. But if he holds it down, where he's kind of like in a swing. At least from what I've noticed so far, it looks like like this right here. Yeah. Automatically non-parryable. I don't know that rolling through is the best. Well, it didn't even matter there. But I don't think rolling through is the best option there. If I get another opportunity, we'll see what we can do. But no, that's going to be it. Always a dirty bastard. Alright, sorry that honestly we didn't have a lot of move commentary on that one. Uh, why are you guys going through it? Like I said, he's got like two or three um, kind of like high swinging and low swinging unblockable moves. Uh, for the most part, you can kind of acknowledge that and notice that from the start of the movement. It gives you plenty of time to kind of back up and move to the side, whatever you need to do, whatever your preferred dodge is. Uh, and then keep in mind whenever he's got that thrusting motion and he's holding it off to the side It's either gonna be one of his unparryables at the end of like a three move combo there With that one just dodge to the side and hit him with a quick attack or square And then the other one obviously if he leads off and he hasn't done any movement yet When he's sitting in there in that thrusting motion, that's always gonna be a parryable Take advantage of that because honestly if you do which he gave us a lot of opportunities to in that uh, that fight there you're going to dwindle his health down really, really quick. And you can parry all day, but if you get the perfect parries, that's what's really going to give you the opportunity to kind of take off the guard and the health. And I, I mean, I'm not going to throw out random numbers here because I have no claim to back it up with. But I have to imagine it's going to at least double the pace of your fight. Oh, 
Alright, so we are still gonna get to defeat Kotun Khan, so don't worry. Even though he is a cheap little shit, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take him out this episode. Uh, just keep in mind though, this is gonna work in kind of a different fashion than we're used to, at least with main bosses. He's gonna have the ability to kind of freely roam around this boat, naval ship, whatever you wanna call it. I, I'm not a naval strategist, I have no idea what to call this, so I apologize. But he's gonna have the ability to freely roam around. I have to imagine this is gonna operate similar to, if I can recall correctly, kind of like if you've played Spider-Man or any kind of other story-based game where we have the opportunity to hack and slash against the enemy. After we dwindle some health down, he'll kind of send out his crusade of enemies to back him up. And then he'll just try to wiggle back in, hoping that we're low on health. Keep that in mind. Make sure you're switching through your stances as much as possible, or at least as necessary. He's still rocking a spear here. I have to imagine that's going to change because he is rocking a shield on his back. So be ready for that. Keep in mind the stance he's in, or not the stance he's in, but the, the weapon he's using. There we go. Cut him down. How the hell did you do that? We're just fighting and, you know, I'm, I'm maybe, what, a foot away from him and now I'm damn near 80 yards away. Alright, but I'm glad I recall correctly and I didn't look like a jackass there. And like I said, we're, we're kind of fighting off hordes and waves of enemies here. Keep working through, look out for the archers. That's actually probably going to be a priority of mine here once I can kind of navigate through these guys. Don't hate me for using the kunai. I'm trying to limit the tool usage here, but we're in dire straits. Cooler if I could just jump up there. Nice. Oh. Alright, he's still rocking the spear. It looks like he's got a similar. Oh, that was perfect. He's got a similar movement uh, pattern as before. Oh, that was nice. Ooh, sit down. There we go. Okay. We can finally go into our moon stance here. Get rid of these damn archers. We've got another wave. As always, don't forget to stop, drop, and roll. Very, very important. Go ahead, man. Do your little pyromancer tricks. Come on. Alright, that one kind of hurt. Just a little bit. Yeah, I can guarantee he wasn't ready for that one. Right, I gotta be a fan. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not the biggest fan of how we uh, finish off this uh, interaction with Khan. I 
feel like it should be more in like a dual sense, like most of the big battles that we have throughout this. Oh. Getting distracted in my rants. Uh, but for those of you who haven't played, I'll shut up and hope you guys enjoy how this goes out. The Nobu! Kitaka! And another will come. If only you could just like let him fall on his own. But nope. This is yours. Gotta be honest with you, for how long it took to get to that point, you just feel kinda eh. But, at least he's done with it. Appreciate you guys checking back in, that's gonna wrap up this episode. We're gonna go right back into the main story in part 17, and I will see you guys next time.